Hi, this is Krolik, and this is a <clears throat> new edition of Krolokian Lore. One question that's come up a number of times is has to do with character sheet automation. So these are a bunch of tools that have been added to the Gamers Plane toolkit that allow you to automatically make roles when your when your character sheet is programmed to do those roles. So for example, on a D&D game, you might have a button that just adds a d20 plus a modifier and a damage die as well. Um, so what I'm going to show you is how to set that up and how to um, use that in the game. So I'll share my screen. Okay, so here we see the um, Gamers Playing front page. So first I'm going to go to forums. And then I will click, I'll go down to the general guides. So guides and there's general guides. Then there's this public repository of custom game sheets. So in here we've, as a community, have created a whole bunch of different sheets. So let's take a look at the Mothership first edition. So this is for the most recent Kickstarter and the new version of the game that's just coming out. So in Mothership, <clears throat> you'll see there's these two colors of sheets. The first one gives you the opportunity, so it gives you a preview of the sheet, and gives you an opportunity to just simply just create a character. But I'll show you the other one first. So this one is the same thing, except when you are in a custom sheet and it's blank, you can load a template because I've put the code for the sheet into a what's called a snippet. It'll show up in that custom character sheet templates. But that's not what we're talking about today. So I'm just going to create a character. I'm going to go <clears throat> test soldier. So here you can create a character. You can see, let's put some stats in here just so you can see the difference. Um, in Mothership, you would actually, you know, roll these. And so in the sheet, I believe there is in the character sheet, it actually runs you through all of the character creation process. All of just, this is a brilliant character sheet design because it actually helps you build the character. So, but we're not going to worry about that. So here I've added some stats just so that they're different. Now I am going to can do, so I call this test soldier. So if I go into here and look through all my sheets, hopefully I might find a test soldier. Okay, so if I go through all my list of sheets, go down here, I have very many of these. There's my test soldier, so I'll submit them to the game. Now, this is just a blank game for something I was going to create. Um, <clears throat> so now I've got this test soldier, so I could post as that soldier. But here's where the clever stuff comes in. So if I click this button below the post dialog box, it's going to bring up that character sheet. This only works for custom character sheets. It doesn't work for the built-in ones for like Dungeons and Dragons or what have you. But you can see now that there's these buttons and there's descriptions. So if I were to click this button, go back up, it's added the reason and the role. Now for Mothership, you have base attributes, but you also have Train skills, expert skills, and master skills. Now, a train skill 
gives you a 10% bonus, expert gives you 15% bonus, and a master scale gives you 20% bonus. So you can see that these descriptions have got those bonuses added. This combat is expert skill 40, which is combat plus 15 for expert. So if I were to click that, you can see that now it says combat expert skill 40. So this is the modified skill. Now, if I uh, I post this, you'll see here that the roles have been added. So there's a random number generated from a D100, and both of them failed. But that's mothership. You're going to fail most roles. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> so that is how this automation works, is that it creates these buttons when you click the button below this roles box, below the quick reply dialog box. So as you're in your thread and you're posting your thing, just right below it, you click that for your character. And any other roles have been added. Oh, here's a panic roll. So I've added a panic roll. And it tells me that stress is too right in the reason for the role. So if I were to post that, oh, you gotta leave. You can't have a can't have a uh, blank message. But you can see here that I rolled a twenty, <clears throat> which is good. You want to roll higher than your stress. Okay, and the last thing I will talk about. So in the sheet, you can see that you just click things. This really just tells you what you have. Train skills are plus 10, expert skills are plus 15. But I set it up so you just click these buttons at the top. And then if you wanted to say, OK, well, I'm chemistry. I'm making a trained intellect role. You could actually just add chemistry right in there. <clears throat> And so when you post that, you can see trained chemistry, roll to five. Hey, I actually succeeded at a roll. Okay, so um, the last thing I will show you though is how does this really work? Okay, so if I look into the character sheet, you can see in the character sheet, it doesn't actually have those roles, the buttons anyway. The the way it works, and this is going to look like a lot of code, but let's just look at something here. So table roles. <clears throat> so you can see here that the code tells you this is a table, and then that's the operative phrase. It's roles. And so when you create a table like that, and then you put a dice roll somewhere in that, it's going to create a button in that automation on the um, on the thread where you might be posting. And so it'll turn this 1D100 into a button. If I change that to plus five, then the button will actually say 1D100 plus five. And um, but that's really all you need to do is table rules. And then you can have a description here. So you can see that what's in here is actually a... Um, an input box doesn't really look like anything, but if you look at the sheet, you'll be able to input numbers in there. And so they just start off being blank. And so, so here you can see I can actually input something in there. And then if I were to edit that, you'll see that the sanity now has a 50 in it. Anyway, um, so that's how the dice automation works, is you can create these rules, you put the rules in there, and then when you when you um, <clears throat> click on the button below the dialog box, these show up as buttons so you can quickly push. So with some clever design, you can actually save yourself a lot of time because you don't have to type any of this stuff. You don't have to worry about typos. It's all what's on your sheet. The rules filled out. And there you go. Um, so this is 
my quick review on Dice Automation. And this has been Krolik, and thank you for watching.